Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to you again. Another GTA 5 online glitch video here on my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you a solo car duplication glitch. No nonsense, simple guide. Let's get straight into the video. Now, the first thing is you're going to need to make sure you own a weapons locker and turn off all of your weapons except for sticky bombs. The reason why I say this is because you're going to be using this as a fast method for glitching out in your lobby. Now, once you've done this, make sure you just go onto all of your weapons and click them all to hide, except for sticky bombs. Now the next thing is, you're going to need to own a bunker with an MOC that has a personal vehicle slot inside of it. Once you've done this, go to your actual website, go to SouthernSanAndreasSuperAutos.com and click on Sort to Price and click on the Fagio. It only costs $5,000 but like I said, you're going to be making extremely a lot amount of money in this game and put it in the uh, mobile operation center personal vehicle slot. Once you've done this, you're gonna go outside of your bunker and call in the Fagio. Once you've called in your Fagio, drive the Fagio back inside of your bunker and wait for it to load up. Now, once you've spawned inside of your bunker, you wanna drive your Fagio towards your MOC. This process is very easy, but the next part will become very tricky and sometimes it can take a few tries. But if you don't have a few tries and you get it the first time, then of course you are lucky. Now, once you're inside of your MOC, what you want to do is get back on the Fagio and drive out. When you drive out, you're going to press X twice or square twice if you're on PS4 to go on your scroll wheel to have the sticky bombs and throw your sticky bomb and then blow it up. This is a fast process and you have to do this very quickly because it won't actually let you throw weapons mostly inside of a bunker. So of course, once you're outside of it, press X twice or square twice if you're on PS4, throw a sticky bomb and then blow yourself up like I did. Killing yourself will actually respawn you down at the actual docks and then you can move on to the next step. Your next step is to come over to this location on the map I'm showing you right now. It's best to use a CEO helicopter so you can get around the map as much as you can. Do note the whole part of you actually blowing up the Fagio you will not need to do in this entire game again unless you go to a new lobby. Now, the next process is you need to go to the interaction menu, go to services and of course call in your MOC and it's going to be used in this location that we are at right now. The next part is to go to your mobile, go on to Mo more spiritual insurance and buy back the Fagio that you've just blown up inside of your bunker. Once you've done this, choose a vehicle that you we actually want to duplicate within the game. Do know that the Deluxo okay. does not sell for the actual price, it only sells for the actual upgrades you put on your vehicle, which is 200,000. If you're doing an Airgy Retro Custom, they sell for around 700 to 800, but for me, I'm going to be using an Arena War vehicle, which is the Future Shock Issy. This sells for $1.4 million. Once you've called this in, you need to move to it's the next step. You. Go and get your Mini when it spawns and drive it to the exact spot I parked mine. This is just so it doesn't get in the way of when you're going to be using the MOC. Now, get out your vehicle and find your MOC within the map of when it's actually spawned. For me, it's going to be spawned over near the Los Santos Custom Shop. Now, once you have your MOC, drive it back to the location of where the car is that you're going to be actually duplicating and drive it in this underpass right now. Now, when you're inside of here, make sure it is jammed straight in and it actually hits the air vents that you see on the actual roof. Once this is done, you want to hop out of your cab of your MOC, go back to your vehicle and jump inside of it. Do know that if your vehicle has spikes on it, you probably want to press triangle or Y on your controller, I say about two meters before you actually get to the actual vehicle. Now, park your vehicle probably about a meter or two away from the actual trailer and get back in the cab of the MOC. Once you've done this, you want to get in the cab and of course press right on the D-pad which will detach the actual trailer. Now once this is doing, it will start to glitch out a lot, you want to run straight back to your car and get inside of it. Once you're inside of the car, you want to press right on the D-pad, keep on spamming it and press an A or of course X if you're on PS4 to try and get inside of the trailer. You'll see a load of pop-ups come up. Keep on pressing A or X if you're on PS4 to actually get inside of the actual trailer. You'll wait about five to 10 seconds on this loading screen and then of course you'll spawn outside with dirty plates on your back of your car. What you need to do then is go to a CEO garage. If you own any other garages, it won't work. Please go to a CEO garage and of course, go inside of it. The reason why you use a CEO garage is because it has a cutscene of your vehicle all the time. You drive inside of it, it shows your car. You go up the elevator, it shows your car. When you actually spawn, you're inside of your actual car. So that is why we use the uh, CEO garages instead of other vehicle garages in the actual game. Once you've done this process, 
is literally all you got to do then is go into the actual workshop of the CEO and just change the plates. This is a, probably a very, very easy glitch to actually do. It's just a long time of explaining on how it actually works. Trust me, it's a pain in the butt, but once you start getting the hang of it, you'll be able to duplicate cars in no time. Like I said, this glitch has been working for the past four days now and still has not been patched. If you do get stuck on an infinite black screen, ask a friend to join your lobby and of course, get them to blow up your MOC. Do note, doing that, you still don't have to uh, do the whole uh, process of the Faggio again. The only thing you'll have to do is once you've duplicated a car, get another Faggio, put it in the back of the MOC, and then just uh, drive the MOC back to that location again and repeat the process of where you actually have to duplicate the car. Other than that, it's super easy. If you get any problems, please, please do not go in the chat and say patch, please. Just comment saying it won't work, I need help and I'll be able to join your games or I can just type in the actual chat and help you guys out. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this all night. I'll be awake on my uh, YouTube channel. So if you have any questions, please do comment in the comment section. As always, I'm Elite CybersRF. I see you guys all in my next video. And one other thing as well, please do not sell your vehicles multiple times at once. Probably sell around one to two an hour. Try not to do more than eight under 24 hours. As always, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye.